My name is Matthew Doyle. Uh, I'm an Indigenous performer uh, from Australia. I, I attended a, uh, uh, an Indigenous performing arts college because I, wanted, I was interested in performing arts, music and dance, but also about my culture. The full name of the college is National Aboriginal Islander Skills Development Association. So it's a very long name, so we call it NASTA for short. The most famous instrument uh, from Australia, the didgeridoo, or we also call it yidaki. Yidaki. It's uh, one of the original names for the instrument. So I heard this instrument when I was a young boy and I was fascinated by the instrument and uh, because it was well, sort of part of my culture I wanted to learn how to play. So uh, I just used to play practice on anything long and hollow I could find. So that's what inspired me, hearing one of our traditional instruments that I wanted to learn and then that led to learning language, songs, vocal songs, and, uh, and all indigenous music. The, the didgeridoo, um, it's, it's one of the oldest musical instruments in the world. Uh, and of course, it, it's unique to Australia. Uh, there are similar instruments in other countries, but they don't play them they don't play them the way we play them. The instrument is made of a tree, a eucalyptus tree. Uh, we call it gum tree. There are many species of gum trees uh, and there are maybe five or six that we use to make didgeridoo. Uh, and the instrument is, uh, the inside of the tree is eaten by ants called termites. They eat their way up through the tree and come back down and then go and find another tree. So we have to go out to the bush, or you might say jungle here in Brunei. We go out to the bush and we find the tree. We tap on it, knock, have a listen. And we can tell by the sound if it's hollow. Then we cut it down, take uh, the bark off, ready to play. Sometimes it can be hard but like any instrument you learn or anything that you do you have to practice <laughs> to improve, get better, to learn more. So that's really that's about it, just more practice. In our culture didgeridoos are only played by males. Only men play didgeridoos at boys. Uh, there are many other people nowadays around the world who can play didgeridoo like uh, from Europe or North America or Asia uh, many didgeridoo players all around the world I would recommend they go to Australia and learn from us learn from the original people and where the instrument comes from then you will learn a lot more than you would learn just from watching or listening on the, on the internet Bruneians are very friendly, open people as well, and made me feel very welcome. And uh, um, I, was, you know, I was very, very pleased about that. And hopefully, I can come back one day, and maybe bring some fellow Indigenous uh, musicians uh, with me, or, or dancers, to maybe showcase a bit more of our culture. Because I'm only one person, um, and I can do a lot of things, but I can't do them all at once. So if I have a singer, or I have another didgeridoo player, or some dancers, then we would be able to give you a, a much better cultural experience from Indigenous people of Australia.